this is just how I see it. But I see the Spirit bringing this about. And so we can have the thought of how are we going to communicate this? How is, and that, there's nothing wrong with that thought because God can give us ways to talk where it can be understood. But what I see in, in the declaration of these messages is I, I see that I'm just declaring what the Spirit is doing. And I don't see that anything can stop it. And so I don't see that it's dependent upon me or any group of people to declare it right. Mm -hmm. I see that the Spirit has quickened something on people's hearts. Mm -hmm. And when the Spirit quickens something on a human being's heart, you got to kill them to shut them up. <laughs> and, and so I see that the Spirit is moving in the earth. And it's Amen. time to bring this forth. Yes. And nothing is going to stop it. And so people may fight with it as they always do. People might wrestle with it, some will read, but that can't stop the Spirit from doing what it's doing. Because it's like, Jesus told Peter that the church would be built on the revelation that man was cut from the rock of God. Amen. That's what Jesus told Peter. Now, when I, I don't tell a lot of people this, but when I first was coming to move here, I had a vision in Colorado of the gates swinging open, and I saw something pouring out into the earth. And I heard God say, that was my word going forth. Man's had 2,000 years to build their church, and now I'm going to build mine, mm -hmm. is what I heard him say clearly. Now, I don't talk about that because it's neither here nor there. But in the context of this conversation, Did I think... Did anybody else get chills? <laughs> and that's not to say the Spirit wasn't poured out before. But right. in the context of this, that God is building His church now upon the revelation of sonship yes. and what that means. And that yes. changes everything in people's mm -hmm. thoughts and their thinking and how they see God and how they see what He's done. Amen. And it builds everything Amen. on the sure foundation that is Christ. Yep. And so when the Spirit's poured out to build His church... <laughs> He's not going to build it on wood, hay, and stubble, right? He's going to build it on the revelation of Christ. And so I see that's what the Spirit's doing. And there ain't no human being or group of human beings, even a group of confused uh, Christian people, that can keep the Spirit from doing what the Spirit is going to do, right? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.